I'm Kathy and this is my sister Becky and we are co-owners of Miss Casey's. We create, inspire, and educate to decorate. Now this is what you would do if you just wanted to take a simple approach to your door and make it really fun and festive. But now we can kick it up a notch and add a lot of cheer. Kathy and I are in the process of showing you an over the top doorway. That means we pull out all the stops and the first place we start is by attaching a garland around the doorway. When you are shopping for garlands and greenery, whether you're using it in Christmas or other seasons, you need to look for something that has a stiffness to the vinyl. This material is a shredded vinyl and when it has a stiffness in the wire and where you can feel the wire in it, it will last longer and it will fluff back from year to year. This is one of the coolest new items that we've had from the last couple of years and we've actually helped design some of these but this is called a ball garland and it's got the heavy wire and it's got all the little individual balls wired on attached to it. You know we love black and white. We're going to lay it onto the garland and then we're going to twist the garland greenery around it. You don't have to glue, you don't have to use extra wire. It's easy to put on and then it's easy to take off. This is just an easy bow to attach. Uh, Becky's gonna show you how to tie it in a minute. This is just a fun everyday look that you could leave out but then could go into a more summery look later on. This is what we consider a half bow. I'm gonna start with my ribbon the same way I do a full bow. I'm gonna go up just a little bit. Gonna gather. I'm gonna make my loop. I'm gonna gather again. And even though the ribbon is the same on the back side, I'm still going to twist because that gathering gives it poof. I'm gonna cut it on an angle. And so I have one loop on top. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the black and white polka dot, laying that in and cutting it on the knife edge again. Gives it a good, clean, finished look. Gonna lay the wire over my thumb, pull it around to the back and twist it and tie it up tight. This is a simple, easy bow and it works great on garlands. I'm going to use the wire that, the, that is tying the bow together to actually wire onto my garland. And I'm gonna wire, just wrap it around. You know, everything that gets attached has to become unattached. So you don't wanna necessarily split it and then twist it a bunch of times because then it gets a little, a little challenging to take it off. You want it on there tight enough so that you can pull and, and take your bows, your tails and everything out and kind of place, separate them. So easy, yet so fun. He likes stuff that gives projection too, and dimension. Well, and just unexpected, it's just so fun to do the unexpected things. Like who would have thought of a pick with little flying bees? on it. Only Miss Casey's. And I pulled his head off. <laughs> Poor little guy. He'll sting you. And if you wanted to add just another touch to tie in a little more of the yellow and to kind of coordinate with your focal point on your door, you could just take pieces of this and then just add into the ribbon that's on here. So that'd just be a different look for, you know, another month. 
One of the key things to remember when you want to get that wow factor, especially seeing your doorway from the street, is to think about the size of the focal points you're putting in there. You want to be sure you're using a variety of items that are colors, texture, patterns that give so much interest to the eye. And it's all about layering from your doorway to what's on the door, to what's on your porch, with your rugs, with your benches. Everything that you have on there is all about proportion and size. One of the places that we layer and mix textures and patterns is our ribbon. Take a look at the different ribbons we used here from the black and white polka dot, the turquoise with the gorgeous gold, matte gold polka dot, and then this fabric has just about every color in it. Don't be afraid to mix patterns and textures. It's really what adds the wow factor and gives a lot of interest for the eye to look at.